Welcome back to Shape by Faith. My friends Donna and Monisha will be showing the various modifications and progressions for each exercise. Donna will be showing the progressions and Monisha will be showing the modifications. Let's get started. Go ahead and lower yourself back down on your floor and scoop that belly in. Draw one knee in at a time towards your chest, hands placed down there by your feet. Take a deep inhale, bring the ribs in, and then exhale. Let's do that again. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. This time, take the legs and arms out away from you, circle around, come on up, and then go back out. Exhale as the knees draw in, inhale as you go out. Remember to work at your level. You've got a modification, you've got a progression, you can stay right in the middle. There's a great scripture out of the book of James, chapter four, verse eight, that says, draw close to me and I will draw close to you. That's God speaking to us. We need to draw close to him every single day, first thing in the morning, get up, and God, I love you. You are so beautiful to me. Lord, show me what you have for me to do today. Show me your way, direct my path. Help me, Father, in my mind to be renewed and transformed. Keep breathing, keep moving as you exercise. Good, one more. And draw those knees back in. Rock a little bit side to side. Go ahead and place your feet back down on the mat. Get your alignment, lengthen out your spine, arms beside you, and then go ahead and extend those arms out, bringing your palms open towards your ceiling. Remember your modification, feet stay on the mat. Progression, legs come up to tabletop position. Pull that belly in as you bring your knees over to one side. This is a classic knee drop. Exhale back up. It's to strengthen the waist, the obliques, and it's to strengthen the core, the powerhouse muscles. Remember to breathe through it. Deep inhale, exhale. Don't force it. Listen to your body. You bring your knees where they need to go for you. You know how you're feeling, so bring awareness to your body. Let's bring awareness to God. With Ephesians 6, 14, stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. We don't want to leave our home without God's body armor on. Knowing his word, meditating on his word, getting it in our hearts and in our minds and speaking the word of God over your life and over your family. Keep breathing, keep moving, keep meditating on God's word. You are an armor bearer for Christ. You are his ambassador. All right, we're gonna do one more on each side. Take your time, inhaling and exhaling. Last one, bring those knees over. Go back to neutral. Draw those knees in. How are you doing? I bet you're doing great. The next exercise is the number one exercise to flatten the stomach. Place your hands back behind the head. It's called the crisscross. Draw one knee in towards you, one leg out. Come up and rotate towards the bent knee and start to alternate. So you're alternating those legs. So your breath is inhale for two legs and exhale for two legs. This is a challenging exercise. So we need the word of God here, especially. The joy of the Lord is my strength, right? Every single day we can choose to wake up regardless of our circumstances and choose joy. Lord, I need your joy in my life. Lord, I'm having a hard time. I'm struggling, Father. This is a hard thing. God, help me. Help me, Father, with your joy. Bring peace into my heart, Father. And he will. I promise you, he will. One more. Draw those knees back in, shoulders down. Again, let's do a little rock back and forth. Go ahead, position your feet back on the mat, lengthen out your spine, bring your legs up to tabletop. All right, this is a reverse curl. Keep your arms planted beside you. To modify, place your hands under your glutes. Take a deep inhale to prepare. Exhale, rock those hips back 
and go back to a neutral position. This is reverse curl. So this exercise is working those deep abdominal muscles called transverse abdominals. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Isn't that good? Did you know that you were fearfully and wonderfully made? That God breathed you, yes, you, into existence for his purposes. You're not a mistake. God knew exactly who you were before you were even formed. Bring those knees in. Ha! Ah, how you doing? Rock a little bit again. Next exercise, place your feet on the mat. Bring one leg up. This is a leg circle. Bring your leg across the midline of the body. Circle down, up and around. Modification, keep that knee bent. Keep moving through this, low back staying down. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, nice control through your leg. Good. We have one more circle. Bring it up, down and around. Go ahead, switch your legs. Exhale, extend, cross over, and move that leg out and around. Again, listen to your body. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Lord, I need you to light up my path tonight. I need you to direct me today. One more, back around, draw the knees in. Shoulders down, good work. We're gonna rock back a little bit and come up to sitting. A Shape by Faith package is such a great value. You may want one as a gift for a friend or maybe a family member or anyone ready to shape their body or heart.